Congratulations, you are about to learn the ancient and satisfying art of weaving. This video will show you step by step how to make a sassy, strappy, easy weavy tote bag from start to finish. The hardest thing about weaving a basket or bag is holding all of the loose pieces together before the structure of the bag comes together. But you are in luck. The easy weavy form will hold everything in place so you can weave easy. Let's begin. First, remove the straps from the package. Discard the outer strap ring. Lay the Easy Weavy base form on the floor or on the table. Weave in the horizontal straps into the slits in the base. This is the horizontal direction. Make sure that the straps are curving down. Now, weave in the vertical straps into the base. This is vertical. Your base should look like this. Notice the way the straps overlap each other. These locked in straps will hold all of the other straps together. Make sure that the straps are evenly spaced on each side of the base. Fold the ends of the strap together until they are equal lengths on each side. Do this for all of the straps. As you weave in new straps, you can use these ones as a guide to keep everything even. Now fill in the rest of the base with straps. The printed grid on the base will help you see how many straps you need. Remember as you weave, over, under, over, under. Now your base is complete. It's time to make the sides of your bag. It will be easier to handle if you fold over all of the straps to form a crisp corner like this. Fold the top of the Easy Weavy form and position it over the base. Find the slits in the form and weave in the corresponding straps. Take a new strap and weave it around the form. Remember, over, under, over, under. When you get to the end of the strap, you will follow the same weave pattern that is already there. This will form a loop around the form. You have finished your first row. Continue to weave the rows around the form. You will notice that it will get easier to weave after your first few rows are done. Every so often, tighten the horizontal straps that are wrapping around the form. You can also pull up on the ends of the vertical straps to keep your weaving tight and neat. Continue until you get to the top. Wow, you have reached the top of your bag. Now we will bind the top. Fold over all of the vertical straps that are behind the top row and weave those ends back into the bag. Now take a new strap and lay it on the top row. Fold over the remaining straps and weave in those loose ends back into the bag. Congratulations, you have just finished your bag. Now we will make the handles. Take a strap and fold it in half. Slide it onto the fourth square from the end of the bag. Tuck the ends into the other side of the bag in the same way. Measure six squares long, then fold up the ends. Now add a strap to the left of the folded one like this. Fold the end of the strap to the right and tuck the tail underneath the next square. Pull on each end of the strap until a crisp triangle forms. Weave the tail into the bag. Take a new strap and slide it to the right of the folded strap in the same way. 
slide, fold over, and tuck. Fold the two straps to the opposite side. Now fold one of the straps over the top of the folded strap from the back to the front. Do the same for the other strap. Fold back to the front. Keep wrapping the straps over the folded one. Back to the front, back to the front. The straps will form a triangle design. When you reach the loose ends on the other side of the folded strap, keep wrapping right over the ends to cover them. Tuck the side straps into the bag the same way that you did on the other side, the triangle forms. Nice handle. Complete the other handle the same way on the other side. Now all you have to do is rip out the form from your bag and you're ready to go. Unbelievable!